This is enormously important work. All right, this is more important than the hedge fund managers who make hundreds of millions of dollars a year. And it was very hard. I had to decide between medicine, food, or rent. A lot of times I chose the food and the rent and decided not to get my medicine and, and use cinnamon and water to try to keep my sugar levels under control. So it wasn't for payday loans. I probably wouldn't be able to afford to even sit here, I'd be dead. It's not enough for me to survive on or to, it's not a living wage. I do my job as a home care worker, but I'm, I'm homeless at this time. I have a son that is uh, developmentally disabled, so I take care of him while I look for other work. I carry my covers and, and my clean clothes, and, and I'm just prepared to rough it until things get better. As long as I know that my son is safe, he's got his housing, I'm happy, and I can make it. Minimum wage needs to be raised, especially for home care workers, because we mostly work for free. Medicaid does not pay us overtime. If Mr. Jones in the tub, and I can't say to him, well, two hours is, is up, and I can't help you any longer. I have to continue to work until I can finish him and, and that the job is actually done right. So we have got to redefine how we value work in America. The work that this gentleman is doing is some of the most important work in America. Home health care workers are doing some of the most important work. They need to be respected and compensated adequately for that very important and difficult work. George, thank you very much. What gets me through the day is knowing that people out there like Bernie Sanders, who's fighting and telling the truth and talking about that 1% and talking about financial freedom, that's important to all Americans, and especially to home care workers who are doing the job that nobody wants to do.